Cassie from Wait to Go and I have finished week three and I'm about to move on to week four. This week I have lost half a pound. Um I am really happy with that. Um I kind of had to give myself a little bit of a shake and remind myself that half a pound might not seem a lot, but at the same time it's in the right direction and even being you know nine stone two it is the lightest I have been in such a long time so so yeah and I have to try and not be too hard on myself because I've already lost the two stone previously so it is the last stone that I'm trying to shift and yeah half a stone is definitely going the right way so so yeah I've run a couple of challenges this week um first challenge being um well I have had a really busy week and I was a little bit naughty and I worked through a couple of lunch hours and I work I, I worked late at night and I ended up missing my tea so I have missed a couple of meals and after speaking to wait to go they've kind of just reminded me how important it is to get that nutrition and make sure that I am eating all the meals that I have so so yes definitely a little bit naughty in that sense but I'm definitely going to make sure that in week four I'm going to allocate a little bit more time for myself and make sure that I am eating enough calories each week and then hopefully we'll see a bit more weight loss and um, the other challenge I had it was a family member's birthday and of course we're all out celebrating and next thing we know we're staying out a little bit longer and we're having dinner and everyone's ordering burgers and chips and everything that you can imagine I didn't just want to sit there and stare at them eating their dinner, so I just tried to make the best situation that I could. I didn't have anything on me, so I basically ordered the lowest calorie meal that I could that was available at the restaurant that we were in. It still only brought my total calories for the day to around 1,000 calories or so, so I think the key thing is to remember that those situations do happen and as long as you make the right choices or the best choices that you can that's what I need to kind of bear in mind it's um it's obviously tricky and it's gonna happen so there's there's just doing like I say the best thing you can do um so yes and obviously we've got Valentine's coming up and it's a little bit of a special time as we got engaged on Valentine's Day and we're getting married this year so kind of want to celebrate it but again it'll just be looking out for the lowest calorie options to fit in with to make sure I'm not eating too much um, because I definitely want to see some more changes on the scales next week so and I'm quite glad because I was kind of warned that week three is quite difficult and you know, here I am, um, and like I say, losing weight. Someone somewhere is still telling me every day that I look like I've lost weight off my face, my figure. So, so yeah, and I'm, I'm really trying to focus on those progress pictures because they seem to show a lot, and trying to listen to what people are telling me too. So I'm feeling really good, feeling much healthier and fitter, and yet again I spent this weekend wearing tight fitting clothing so definitely week three has been good busy but good um, and here is two week four 